Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, let's address why I sound like a croak. We've both been sick. I had tonsillitis for the last couple of days, but I'm finally on the mend and I was really excited to start vlogging today. Like we've been in Bali for over a week now and I still haven't pulled out my camera because it's just been a lot. We've got, like... we got two days to start off with where we felt great. We're like, oh my God, this is amazing. And after that, we ended up losing a load of weight. I had bad yeah. stomachs. I got a bad neck. Then we got ill, then we had the doctors out, then we moved place, and then we've just been trying to recover. That's yeah, why. but today we're feeling good. Yesterday yeah. was our first day where we actually went out for dinner and we were able to eat again. I sound like I'm complaining so much at the start <laughs> of this video, like this is our first Bali vlog, but that's what's went on. Like that's the negative yeah. stuff that went down. We've just been unwell, but we've actually had the best time ever so far. We stayed in Changu, now we're in Seminyak. Yes. I'm gonna show you around the room in a minute. Actually, do you know what I'm gonna do is put a little room tour over this when I took on my iPhone when we first moved because right now sure. it's uh, <laughs> No, it's, it's very much <laughs> lived in. Basically, we spent the first week in Changu. Had a really, really nice time. I think we had like four days before I started feeling unwell, but seems to be quite common. Obviously, like coming to Bali, the water here is different, the food here is different, and one thing I'm definitely not used to is the air con. You go from like really hot, humid air into air-conditioned, cold air, and I suffer with tonsillitis anyway, so not surprised. It's definitely been a roller coaster over the last few days, but we're back on the mend. We have some fun things planned for today. We're actually going to go jewelry making, yeah. which is very cute. I've off lip sweat already. I just tried to go outside on the balcony to record some clips, and when I tell you, it looked like we were underwater. The lens just picked up all the water and I was rubbing it aggressively. So I feel like a lot of the clips today might be on the iPhone as well. But we're about to go and have some breakfast in a place called the Coffee Club. And then we're going to rent a bike and we're going to scooter from Seminyak to Changu. That's going to be a long journey for us, to be fair. We've never kind of gone that far. I was absolutely petrified of the scooters at the start. I'm not going to lie. Like that morning I woke up and Alex was like, what's wrong with you? I was riddled in anxiety at the thought of going out on the roads. <laughs> But it's actually really fun and I trust Alex to drive. I don't drive it myself. But yeah, that's our it's plan. Time, it's time, yeah. We'll get you. It's on. time, yeah, yeah. You can just have a little pass up and down the street just for the vlog, yeah. <laughs> just just for YouTube, I'll just, make it look like I drove over here. Just for YouTube, I'll get you up and down the street. Since we got here, there's a gecko. He's right outside the other side of the door. And I swear, he lives here. Like, he hasn't left. There's no other geckos outside any other hotel Are you doors. Are you ready? Go. <gasps> He's there. Show him what's that. <laughs> okay. Look, that's him. Close it. It's closed. <sighs> he lives there. There's also another one that lives up here. He hasn't left that position since we got here. He is kind of cute. Like, I understand when people say they're cute, but they're too fast for me. They move too fast. <laughs> you should see the face on the other side of the camera. Like, never mind the gecko. He, he... That's all I've been doing for this whole holiday is screaming. <laughs> So we are just waiting for the bike to arrive at the hotel. They actually sort it for you at the hotel in a lot of places, which is great, because otherwise you have to give your passport to some random guy in the side of the street, and that is something we definitely don't want to do. Alex wanted a bigger bike today, so we opted for the bigger one, because we do have a longer journey, and he's obviously really tall. And on the last scooter that we had, he was a little bit too large for it, to be honest. When we were turning corners, his knees were getting caught on like the handlebar part. So. We're getting a bigger one and I'm excited to see it. It should be arriving any minute now. He's gonna jump. Come on. <gasps> no, I don't he's want not, to. He's anymore. not a jumpy one, he's a baby. He's not jumping at all. He, I just saw him jump up through the steps. No, he's jumped down the steps because he can't. He's not big enough to crawl down. Yeah. Take a little Pablo jump. Oh. He's so cute. He's actually really cute, Alex. Look at his head. Maybe I'm not that scared of them after all. No. I just love how spread their toes are. They got two helmets? Yes. Perfect. This is where we sign our life away. <laughs> Look at the dog! Oh my god! I love your dog! It's always going to be because of the aircon. Oh I'll my be god. the same to be fair. You can look through? Yeah. Thank you. Your earrings look. Very cute. I actually do like uh, that idea. Something like that, yeah. yeah. So, I'll make one for you. Okay. You can make one for me. All right. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> Alex is going to find mine together for me. Our 
I really wish I had a fresh set of nails, guys, but we have two week, actually probably nearly three week old French manicure on right now. But look at how cute they are. Right, guys, so we just made it to the beach to catch the sunset. We have a nice one, so it's up now. We've got prime, prime spot on the beach. Yeah, so we're gonna go for a little bean bags. And I got myself Coke Zero and Alex Austin did. So Alex had mentioned that he had some excursions planned for us. Obviously forgot to mention that they start at 2 a.m. Well, here we are. We took off on our journey at 2 a.m. Um, to start a hike of Mount Pator. Our taxi guy picked us up. We had a two hour journey till we got there. Everyone else there was in a big group and then it was just me, Alex and our tour guide hiking up this mountain at 4 a.m. Got to the top and it was so cute. They made us cups of tea and coffee. He boiled some eggs for us and made us banana sandwiches and cut off the crust. Sorry guys, the tour guide was just the cutest little guy ever. He was so caring. So we had our breakfast, we had our cups of tea and coffee and went to catch the view and I'm sure you can see why we were extremely disappointed to start with. We literally couldn't see anything guys. As you can see, it's just clouds. So we just had to laugh about it and we were just about to leave and then the clouds broke. As you can see, they're breaking in this clip and then eventually the most incredible view came out. We were just getting up to go down the mountain again and then in a matter of seconds the clouds passed it was incredible then we were heading back down and we saw some monkeys in their natural habitat just eating their bananas and playing and grooming each other they were honestly so cute i heard that they are deadly though so we definitely kept our distance with them and then we hiked back down which was definitely more difficult than the hike up because the gravel was really loose and we kept slipping but we got down safely in the end thankfully and we headed towards the next destination which was this waterfall as you can see it's absolutely stunning there were a lot of other tourists there but it didn't really take from the experience if i'm honest everyone sort of waited their turns to take pictures and just make the most of it and after this guys we went to the most beautiful lunch spot it had a gorgeous waterfall right next to where we were eating. We had some local Balinese food and we ventured home. The next day we did actually go snorkeling for a little while, but I was really proud of myself for getting in guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not fond of the ocean in general. Like I like paddling at the edge, but anything in the deeper ocean and like just large fish and things like that, they just freak me out. But I was on this boat. I told Alex that I would commit to it and go with him. I never promised going in to be fair, but I was really happy with myself that I actually did get in. Anything like with tentacles or slimy or anything that could touch my feet, like, it's just not for me but i did it i faced my fear and i was absolutely exhausted afterwards to be honest i think the snorkeling for me was more mentally draining than the hike because it was just me facing a big fear i'm glad that we got some of those excursions done because i definitely felt like i was behind after being sick for like a solid five or six days over here i felt panicked to get out and just see bali and do some fun stuff so we packed up the last two days with that anyway we're just about to head to the gym in a minute because i was sick i obviously couldn't train and then i wanted to fill out my day with activities here so i'm only getting back to the gym now and it's probably been like seven days i don't know why i'm feeling a little bit anxious about going back and i know that whenever i take a break like this it's always just the first one or two sessions that i need to get out of the way and then i'll be back into the swing of things as i always was i'm gonna wear these leggings and i think i'm gonna match it with the blue top but these have just launched on the Alfleet website some new amplify pieces Alfleet are listening guys and they're restocking and bringing out new colors and amplify now all the time i have all the rest of the shorts and leggings in the wardrobe but this is my fit for today and i must say i'm actually loving this color palette it's like nice and summery but also neutral so if you haven't shopped this launch yet link is in the description box life hack in bali guys if you don't want to put this disgusting bike rental helmet on I hate it. This one has a visor as well. It's actually disgusting. Put a little cap on, right? And it'll keep your head clean. There's 55,000 miles on this bike, so there's about 55,000 miles worth of scalp. In okay. <laughs> we have been up to the gym, or the gym, and this is the actual name of it, for honestly the last 30 minutes. And apparently it's right next to us, and we've just been going in circles trying to find it. It's definitely going to be closed by the time we get there. I know. It's called DE Gym. Did you? Me and Alex have decided we're going to give it another 10 minutes of driving in circles. And if all else fails, we're going to get a spag bob. Try again tomorrow. I think it might be down here on the left, you know. And we are officially back. Uh, our hotel is. Yeah, our hotel is just up that street. All in one 
want is a pump. Like, why can't we just get a pump? One eternity later. Right, guys, we finally found the place. I'm gonna have our session now. Um, I'm gonna have some amino and energy supplements before I train today because A, my pre workout meal is just completely gone after how long it took to get here, and B, I'm um, feeling a little bit tired today, and it's my first session back after a few days, so I think. I could definitely do with the extra kick. So I'm having the iced tea lemon flavor today. this whole vlog has nearly been done on my iPhone I hope you don't mind the difference in quality compared to my usual vlogs but to be honest when I'm out and about in Bali it's much easier for me to just whip out my phone rather than have a camera that just builds up condensation every time I go out but anyway guys I'm just getting ready we're getting a little bit glammed up tonight because it's our second last night in Bali and I have so many outfits that I actually never ended up wearing I don't know if it's just me but whenever I pack for a holiday I always pack like the loveliest, longest dresses, like all the fancy outfits. And I honestly end up in just my comfies most nights. And especially in Bali, to be honest, I sort of expected that. The majority of the time it's just hair up, no makeup on and something comfortable. And to be honest, I'd have it no other way. But tonight we decided to get a little bit dressed up. We went to a restaurant last week called Ultimo in Seminyak and I got the most beautiful stay. So we decided we're actually gonna go back there tonight. It was a really, really nice date night spot and I'm definitely in the mood for a good steak. I know I was talking about spag ball all day, but I think a steak would definitely hit it now. And my protein hasn't really been that high today. So I think steak is always a good shout if you're trying to get your protein in. This product has been my absolute lifesaver in Bali, to be honest. It is the Laura Mercier translucent powder and it's so good for setting your makeup and just keeping things in place and keeping things not shiny. If you don't want to be like completely glistening with the humidity over here, then this is a very, very good setting powder if you live in a humid place. Another product that I picked up on the way over here was this Be Perfect Cosmetics um, Golden Glow Body Shimmer. So this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, I'm after beating it a little bit. So this is a body shimmer, but to be honest, I've been using it on my cheekbones on nights out over here too. You really don't need that much of it across the nose and up the cheekbones is where I normally put it and sometimes a little bit on my upper lip. I don't know if you can see a difference in this light, but it does make the pictures look much better. Also guys, just to mention, I actually just announced the winner of the 2022 Summer Transformation Challenge over on my Instagram. I'm gonna put the winners on the screen now for you just so that you have an idea of how the girls perform this time. We have Paula in first place who absolutely killed it for the full 10 weeks. Her check-ins every single week were impeccable and she just consistently showed up for herself and it shows in her results. And I also chose Laura and Neov to win some prizes as well. Just three girls that really, really put in the work over the last 10 weeks and won the challenge. So Paula goes away with 2,000 euro today, which is great for her. I'm actually running a discount on my plans as well at the moment. 
As you probably know guys, I don't often discount my workout plans or any of my online coaching plans because I'm normally back to back, but I do have 30% off at the moment if you are looking to sign up. Um, hopefully if you're watching this video within the first day or two of me uploading it, the sale will still be on. So if you wanna join the team, I leave it as the first link in the description box. So this is a restaurant guys. It is so pretty. It's sort of indoors, sort of outdoors, as you can see. Hopefully Alex. It doesn't rain. <laughs> oh yeah, they can pull it out. Thank God. It doesn't look that cute now, right? But there's like a little seating area down here. Trying to see people. And it goes out onto the road. So you can just people watch, which is one of my favorite things to do. I'm gone with the tomato soup to start. Alex has bruschetta that looks really good, babe. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Really good. We're cheersing perky water tonight. Wild one. Wild one. Obviously, guys. Well done. Beef tenderloin, I think. Cremated. <laughs> Cremated stay. <laughs> and Alex got the exact same. We're tweeting tonight. Exactly the same. Medium red up. Okay, guys. We are back from dinner. We had an early one tonight. We probably had like two or three actual nights out over here for the three weeks we've been here and other than that we've actually been very well behaved like the bali party scene is definitely there if you want it but um we were kind of on a more relaxed vibe for this trip and i honestly think we never recovered from the jet lag to be honest like anytime we did even try go out we were exhausted after two drinks and very drunk after like one or two drinks to be honest remember me on the first night yeah they were, they were like a double but after one Done. I actually did. I remember I had one gin and tonic and I could feel it. I was like, this is actually embarrassing. Anyway, and um, we're about to hop into bed and I actually just thought I'd show you the size of this bed. So Alex booked a double room and when we got here, the girl was like, oh, there's no double rooms left. We're going to have to just put two single beds together. No, it literally takes up the whole room. Look the size of it. Like Alex can actually lie. I think he can lie fully across it and still have room <laughs> and i remember on the first night when we got here alex was obviously sleeping normally on his side and i woke up like fully lying that way and there was still right. room for both of us <laughs> right, right, right. across this side there's then there's a, there's a good that. at least a good five and a half foot in between us so if we're both at the edge of the bed overall had the best trip ever we kind of went between changu and seminyak i definitely preferred seminyak and um, just traffic wise it's a lot less busy but it's still only like a 15 or 20 minute drive from everything that changu has to offer changu is the main spot definitely for tourists like it has a lot more gyms and restaurants and everything else but you do get the tourists along with it it's very very busy there i think for us anyway for what we wanted from this trip coming to Semyak, basing ourselves here for the second half and then like going to and from Changu was definitely, yeah. that suited us definitely for this trip. Move. And then the other places, like we did Nusa Penida um, and we did a little bit of time in Ubud, Ubud. Mm. I don't know how I'm pronouncing these. <laughs> a lot of the places I thought we'd have to go and stay there to like see the place, but there's just day trips. And I'm kind of glad that we did it that way instead of like logging our cases to every single spot that we wanted to see. We like based ourselves in one place and then did our day trips to whatever yeah. we wanted to see. And it was it was perfect, to be fair. He likes packing or unpacking, so it's much easier, wasn't it? Yeah. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you next time.